When one Winston-Salem man on the do not call list tells telemarketers they have the wrong number, he means it. He sure does. In fact, he is using settlement money he has earned from going after those callers to open up a brand new bar and restaurant downtown where Bulls Tavern used to be on 4th Street, and he's conveniently calling it the wrong number. Like so many of us, Omar Corey gets call after call from telemarketers. I get so many phone calls every day of for car warranties or debt relief or student loans or whatever it is they're trying to sell, uh, you know, life insurance. He's run an IT company since 2006, but when the pandemic hit, he had a little more time on his hands to handle the calls none of us enjoy receiving. I didn't really have anything else to do because I'm stuck at home. So I just started answering those calls and talking to them and uh, answering their questions enough to figure out who they are. And then once I figured out who they were, I was able to go after them. In fact, he estimates there have been at least 20 to 30 instances where he's gone after telemarketers and reached some kind of settlement, which adds up over time. When, when I last counted, it was just over $100,000. With that money, he's managed to buy the old Bulls Tavern on 4th Street in Winston-Salem and name it something new and, in his case, a little more fitting. It's going to be called the wrong number, yep. Coincidence? I think not. The funds from his telemarketing settlements are helping him transform the old Bulls Tavern into a new upscale craft cocktail bar. The whole telemarketer thing just kind of gave it a backstory I didn't have before. So that's how... The, the, the wrong number came about is, well, hey, they called the wrong number because then they had to deal with me and it led to a bar. While it's not a strategy he'd recommend, per se. It's very tedious. It's very time consuming. It takes a lot of patience. It has seemed to work in his favor. I didn't, I, I never expected that it would get that far. I thought it might be a couple calls and, you know, then they would just stop and, and they haven't. And so it, it just, one thing led to another. His story is proof that anyone's next business venture could be just a phone call away. I, I will give them credit, though. A, a lot of those calls are, f are to offer me debt relief. And to that end, it was true. <laughs> so, I mean, not the way they wanted it, but it's still debt relief. <laughs> So Corey plans to have a soft opening for the wrong number the first week of October with a more official grand opening around Halloween. And he tells me tipping will be optional there and drinks on the menu will include names like car warranty and debt relief. There will also be a custom made sign above the door that instead of saying open or closed, it will say call if it's open and do not call if it is closed.